Okay, quick tips from the Rexer show. I'm going to show you how to add video previews manually in RetroPie. Maybe you have a game or two that doesn't have a video. Uh, if you make one manually and you want to put it in, this is how you do it. Right now in this image, I have a, uh, or in this setup, I have an image loaded, uh, box art, so to speak. And I'm going to show you the first thing you need to do is go to your start settings, your UI settings, and you're going to change your game list view style to video. You can also put it on automatic and it over, it, it chooses the video over the box art image. Um, but I just put it on video and you're just going to go back and we're going to go back to our desktop, um, our computer, and we're going to find our video file that we have already made and have, and we're going to put it into the proper directory. Uh, I'm using Ubuntu in this um, video, but uh, you might be on some other OS. Um, there's my video. Uh, it's a Killer Instinct video. Make note, it's named Dash Video, and this is an MP4, but I believe it'll play MKVs as well. Um, I'm not positive, though. Uh, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put it into any folder into basically the RetroPie setup. I created a folder named Videos, and I put the folder, I put the file into here. I'm just going to overwrite it. And you can put it into basically any folder um, from the home menu on, uh, the home folder on. But you have to remember where you put it. So in this example, I'm going to right click on the folder so I can see the directory exactly on where I put this this video and it's in home the Rexer show retro pie that's where that folder is and the videos and remember that the videos folder and you'll understand why we need this information because we're going to type it in manually uh, into the metadata section so again note that it's dash video your file has to be named dash video or it's not going to work Unlike box art images, you can name it anything. You don't have to name it dash image. In this one, I did have to name it dash video. So now we're going to go back into our RetroPie setup. We're going to hit the select button and edit uh, metadata. We're going to go down to the enter path to video. And we're going to type that path in exactly the way it, I showed you uh, from that folder path. Uh, the, the lowercase, uppercase has to be exact. You have to put the forward slashes in exactly. And my directory was home, the Rexer Show, RetroPie videos, ki video, the name of the video, dot mp4. And we're going to go down. We're going to hit OK. And again, dash video was in the name. And the video, once you hit save, should pop up when you come down. As long as you got the naming right, the convention right. Okay. So there the video launches. You'll get uh, sound as well. And one thing to note here is this is a larger file, a larger resolution file because I'm on my PC. And the PC can handle uh, that resolution. When you're on your Raspberry Pi, it cannot handle a 1080p uh, video and you're going to have to downsize that that resolution um, in order for it to work on your raspberry pi so let's show an example um, of in a raspberry pi and again the video will just keep cycling through um, as you let it let it run so let's go back to the pc if you're going to do this on your retro on your raspberry pi uh, the best way to do it is through a FTP manager. Um, in this example, I'm going to use um, FileZilla. But before I do that, I'm, again, you have to downscale your video for your Raspberry Pi. And I found that I had to do it all the way down to 480 resolution. Um, if you're going to do that, you're going to want to use a tool like Handbrake and just to downscale it um, in Handbrake. And then the video won't pause or skip or stutter. Uh, I found that anything of high resolution stuttered on my Raspberry Pi 3B+. Use a tool like that. Um, change the resolution of the file. 
and then you'll have a file that will work with the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to have to move that video file into uh, a similar directory on the Raspberry Pi. So if you're not familiar with FTP, on the left here is my computer files. On the right, I've already uh, hooked, connected to my Raspberry uh, Pi 3. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that Killer Instinct video file. And I'm going to move it into a directory folder on the Raspberry Pi. Um, in this example, I, if you recall, I put it uh, into that RetroPie videos folder. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drag it over into the directory of home Pi over to the right there. And I'm keeping the directory short because again, we had to type in the directory manually. So the shorter the directory, the better. And I'm just going to copy the video over there to the right into um, my folder. And again, if you don't know how to FTP, there's a good ETA Prime video out there. Just Google ET, ETA Prime uh, SSH FTP, and he'll show you how to FTP to your Raspberry Pi. So now the video is on our Raspberry Pi. We go to the same settings, um, and we enter the new path to the video or the path that you set it at. Obviously, I have my old path. I'm using um, the old path. Um, but you're just going to change the path to home pi because that's where we put the video. We put it in the path home pi ki-video.mp4. And the video should play the same way as I showed you before, as long as you typed everything in correctly. Uh, good luck with this, guys. If you have any questions, put it in the comments, and I'll uh, respond to you as soon as I can. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.